I'm Dr. Carolee Winstein. I'm a professor uh, in the Department of Biokinesiology and Physical Therapy at the University of Southern California. And I direct the Motor Control and Neurorehabilitation Laboratory there. So I'm delighted to be here. Uh, my seminar today is on the topic of thoughts about negative trials in neurorehabilitation. And my goal is to really step back and say, why have we not been able to, uh, to define interventions that are helpful for patients after stroke? Um, and the answer to that is really that I believe that most of the trials were premature in terms of the science that we understood about neurorehabilitation. So I'm going to go through and discuss several of the barriers that we need to overcome. The first is the translation barrier. So moving from the animal model work, which is very compelling, to the human uh, is not a direct uh, translation. So we need to understand more about the human condition after stroke and what are the things that are important to our patients that they would find important to work on. So for example, it's not just a matter of how many trials of practice they have. It's the context for the trials that will connect with them and their own uh, personal needs to be able to go home and resume their lives. So that's one, one very important point is the, is the translation barrier and the excitement actually for research in doing some more fundamental research and trying to understand what are the key variables that are important to our patients. So the second point is really how do we make our interventions more patient-centered? And the third is what are the variables that we measure to test our hypotheses about what interventions might work? And there, I think we have a lot of work to do. So we pick variables that are, we call objective. So we can measure someone's performance. We can measure their strength. We can measure their, uh, their movement. But we ignore uh, variables that represent the patient's perception of what the problem is. And there actually is a whole battery of uh, valid and reliable instruments called patient reported outcomes that in neurorehabilitation we ignore. It's interesting that in fields like cancer, uh, these patient reported outcomes are very important for determining what kind of interventions. So the patient will tell you what is their quality of life, what is their fatigue level, uh, and the uh, medical care is based on these important outcomes that the patient is interested in. I think we can steal from these other fields and inform our neurorehabilitation practice and our research if we were to uh, be listening to these patient-reported outcomes more than we are right now. So those are the three sort of main areas I'm going to cover today.